find that although it has um, a tree and more like fall-ish looking things, um, as in images, <laughs> um, you can totally use it for an everyday card, okay? You can um, use it with not like very bright um, birthday, you can make a birthday card out of it. So although it's designed more for fall and Christmas and maybe winter holidays and occasions, um, you can totally switch it up and use bright colors and use it like as a regular happy birthday card. This could easily be a congratulations card or, or whatever, okay? And so that's that. I'm going to show you how I did the skirt in a second. And um, if you wanted to go more traditional, kind of what it was designed for, um, you could go Christmas. Oh, thank you, Karen. Of course you would notice my nails. Thank you. I'm having so much fun with gel moment, by the way. Oh, my goodness. I'm hooked. <laughs> um, you can totally do that. And so you're going to find in the images here, we have two bottoms and three tops. Now, the easiest way is to put these two together. You're going to notice that her, the top of her skirt is flat, as is the bottom of the presents. So they naturally are going to kind of go together. That doesn't mean that you can't switch it up, but it is definitely the easiest um, uh, kind of duo to put together. You're going to notice that there's a little V, a little dip in her trench coat here, and that kind of mimics the V that of her holding the flowers and the tree. Okay, so these two are kind of meant for this one and the presence is kind of meant for this one. That doesn't mean that you can't switch it up, but you're going to have to do a little finagling. Like you may have to do some um, masking, like a masking technique, which of course I'm not showing tonight. But if you're familiar with masking technique, that which that's what you're going to want to do for like these images. Or you can fussy cut it out and adhere it over. Okay, so I hope that makes sense that these are kind of designed to go together. And then these two are kind of designed to go to this one. Again, you don't have to do it that way, but it it they're kind of mesh easier that way, okay? Um, so I'm gonna make this one, this one we're making tonight. Let me, I just wanna show you how I did her skirt. You may be very familiar with it, um, but it is a technique that I only kind of recently kind of tried my hand at. Um, and I just realized I do not have the skirt on a block. Hold on. Um, let's see here, I gotta borrow a block. Okay. So here we go. I'm using the bottom, her, her skirt. <laughs> it sounds so funny. And you're going to want to find a fun pattern. Um, it could be floral. It could be gingham. Whatever you like, grab the pattern. And I'm going to stamp it in Memento Black ink. Oh, good, Shannon. You'll have to show me what you make. I'd love to see. I would love, love, love. Okay. And I'm just going to stamp right on my designer paper. Whatever paper you pick, I originally um, stamped it on the black and white um, buffalo check, and then I changed my mind. I don't know. Do I? St I threw it in my garbage. I don't know if I can find it still. Uh, oh, there it is. Hold on. Is it? Yeah, oh, totally. So I originally wasn't going to go with a black and white skirt for her, but I felt it was like a little too dark, and so I ended up switching it up with the, the fresh freesia, by the way. Okay. You're going to want your paper snips. Now, if you're not a fan of fussy cutting, this isn't for you. You can easily make this card, and instead of using a piece of designer series paper for the skirt, you just color it in with a stamp of blends. No big deal. I realize that fussy cutting isn't for everyone, and so I just want to be sensitive to that, that you can easily adapt the, basically the idea of the card without having to do fussy cutting. But if you would like to use um, that piece of designer series paper, you're going to want to, you're going to have to fussy cut, okay? So normally when I fussy cut, I say, leave a white border around whatever you're cutting right because it makes it a little easier um, but when you're doing this kind of paper piercing or piecing excuse me you're going to want to cut right along the the edge in this case it's the black edge of what you just stamped okay so I'm going to take my time again because um, that's a fine line I'm running across and I want to go right up next to it Okay, like so. Hey Kim, thanks for coming on in. So I'm cutting right along that black edge, like so. Normally I would go a little faster for you, but <laughs> you're getting the slow motion version tonight. 
Okay, and again, this isn't the card I'm making. I just wanna show you kind of how I put it together so you have an idea. And this could totally be adapted. Um, even for the card we're doing, you could make her trench coat if you really wanted to get. Um, hold on, let me get a piece of, hold on, I didn't get a piece out. Okay, this is way bigger than I need, but I need, a, I need it to be able to show you what I'm talking about. So that when you go ahead and stamp her legs, Okay. All we would do is adhere this right over her legs. Um, let's see here. I don't have her body, but I can totally put the top part. Actually, no, I do have her top part because I'm using it. So that when you do her presents, she's holding presents. Poor girl. You'd think someone would help her. She's got to be a mom because she's doing everything. <laughs> So then I'm going to go super close, almost overlapping the very bottom of the present to the very top of her skirt. Okay. And then when I take my skirt, I'm just going to adhere that right over there and then color her in and we're good to go. Okay. So that's how you get this image. If you've ever seen um, designer series paper used like this, that's how they've done it. It's a super cute idea and it really kind of steps up a card. Um, but again, I wanted to purposely show you this card because it really, you know, it, the delivering cheer can be used so much more than just fall, winter, and um, Christmas. It really can be used for really fun um, birthday cards. The sentiment, by the way, oh my goodness, where did I take that from? Oh, a, oh my goodness, where did I take that from? Oh, the sweets and treats. The sentiment is for the sweet and treats. Okay? Okay. Setting that aside, now that I've kind of showed you that trick, let's move on to tonight's card. 